Hey Libra, welcome to your general reading with Angelic Ascensions. My name is Angela, and this reading is going to be for Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, as well as the Cross Watchers. Let's get into this, Libra. I'm going to pull in your energy, and then we're going to pull in the energy of your Cross Watcher. But as I shuffle, Libra, I want you guys to bear in mind that this reading is general. So with this being a general reading, of course, it can go vice versa. There might be parts of this reading that actually do resonate for you and parts that don't. Whatever does not resonate, let it go. It may be a part of someone else's story. Perhaps they needed to hear it. It may, may not be your part of the story. But either way, don't get caught on the small details is what I'm trying to say if they don't resonate. Feel free to check out the videos for your sun, moon, rising, and or Venus sign. And if you would like to book a personal reading with me, I'm offering same day readings on my website and you can find the link to my website below. Okay. I'm almost like tempted to call you Capricorn, but I know I'm reading for Libra. Some of you might be dealing with a cap even though I don't see indication of that. However, some of you could be dealing with a Virgo or um, an Aries, maybe even a Sag and a Leo what I see here all right your person is feeling very confused they may be in a new romance with somebody else they may have started another relationship with someone else um yeah that situation may not work out right they may have entered a new relationship since the two of you have parted for some of you this might be a relationship with your child's other parent um, it looks like somebody that you were dealing with, your partner, your ex, or it could be a friend, it could be a family member. It's going to resonate however it resonates for you. Not, not for everyone will this resonate as a romantic type of relationship. It could be completely platonic. But I'll read it in the sense of, in the love sense, when it comes to matters of the heart first. Somebody wasn't truthful. You question somebody's ethic here. It could even be a coworker. But either, either way, it looks like you got tired of being treated as an afterthought, as an option in a relationship rather than a human being. No doubt, I'm feeling like you guys could have had a friend's first type of relationship and that bond was really good. And when it was really good, it was paradise, almost, you know? But it looks like your person is definitely regretting some betrayal that may have taken place there's definitely like i said a sense of regret that they're sitting in with a lot of uh, confusion and loneliness they're sitting in the residue of all of those thoughts since the breakup they definitely feel like they're on thin ice with you and somebody felt like they had to walk on eggshells with you because somebody could have seen you as possessive or controlling for some of you you could have met somebody at work or there could have been an affair that took place with somebody that you work with. Your person is going through a lot of sadness. And they may acknowledge some responsibility quietly. They may not even admit this to you, but quietly to themselves. They do acknowledge some responsibility for the part that they played. There could have been some immaturity. This person may look back and realize, hey, I, I could have been more mature about that. I could have handled that differently type of thing. And that's where the regret is. They do feel like things were really good with when it, when it came to you. And they might be thinking about communicating with you. They may be thinking about shooting you a message and coming out of hiding because this person may feel like they um, may need to like maintain their distance from you. They do entertain the thought of maybe one day being married and they may be thinking about coming to see you, but they don't really move forward on that thought. They don't act on it because so maybe the time hasn't presented itself. And it could be that your person has been going through some financial situations that have um, kind of prevented them to come coming to see you. There may be some work commitments, but your person, they may feel like the energy and effort that it takes to maintain a healthy relationship just became too much to bear and they didn't want that responsibility any longer they may definitely um, have different belief systems than you and um they're definitely feeling heartbreak broken and for some of you this would be a twin flame union 
they definitely are very attracted to you and feel like, um, like I said, that they, they had a lot that you definitely had a lot to offer. They feel like maybe at times you're out of their league. So how might this possibly go? They're thinking about it. Their intuition is telling them definitely, definitely to reach out to you, but they're kind of ignoring that. They're choosing to stay in solitude. For some of you, I feel like this could definitely be like a father and child relationship that kind of fell off here. Like there could have been, you could have definitely, um, you could be estranged from your children, your adult children. Um, and if that is the case, I'm feeling like you may reach a turning point with your children. For some of you, this is a friend. Because I'm seeing like broken bonds here. Like something may have broken your friendship bond or somebody that you worked with. For some of you, this could have been a third party type of situation that played out at work. But either way, I'm feeling like the point is I feel like you may reach a turning point in this connection. And I'm definitely feeling like divine timing is going to play a part in that in that taking place. I'm feeling like Libra, you do want to reach out, but you kind of, like I said, like what was the, the reading is saying that you um feel it intuitively. Your conscience is telling you to reach out, but you're pushing that down. I'm feeling like you definitely do think about this person over and over and you might be using your work as a means of escape to kind of like erase the thought of this person or to keep your mind productive so that you don't overthink about this and I feel like this person was your confidant and I feel like somebody likes to give off the impression that their life is really together and they've got it all figured out but really they don't it's just an illusion it's just a facade that somebody puts up in this scenario let's look at the actions and the thoughts of your person Libra Remember, this can go vice versa. And yes, did I say Aries? I believe I did. So I'm feeling like your person is letting go. They still have a lot of love for you, but they're saying you took me for granted. You took my kindness for weakness and I must let go. They do feel like you definitely haunt them. The, your memory haunts them. Uh, the thought of you haunts them they're not really expecting much to come out of this situation they feel like they need to take some time to heal um and it looks like they are trying to look at the brighter side of life right now they may look at either they need to look at both sides of the situation like somebody may be neglecting to do to do that that could be something that they're doing looking at both sides and um they're gonna make some decisions based on the facts and it looks like they're definitely using tact and logic rather than their emotional side when it comes to this situation. Libra. I don't know. I see an offer here. I'm not sure if it's going to come from you or them, but it looks like they do think about reaching out. Your person, they still think about you. They no doubt still love you, but their wall has gone up. They feel like it's best to let go and eliminate you from the equation because it looks like they're looking to find happiness, harmony, and fulfillment. And um, they feel like they didn't get that in this situation. For some of you that may co-parent children with this individual, I'm feeling like you guys might come to some type of a compromise. I'm also feeling like there could be a pattern in relationships that, that where somebody has issues with self-sabotage. Either way, it looks like this person is definitely watching you, keeping tabs on the situation, curious about you. Um, they are going through a lot of changes here in their life. They're kind of adjusting to these changes. They are thinking about the bad times. Your person, they could doubt that there could be a reconciliation. And they're not sure what you could really say to bring them back. Okay, so it's like one of you wants to extend this offer, but you're feeling like it's a waste of time. It could be your cross watcher. Either you're wanting to extend the offer and, and you're saying, nah, let me not do that. That's a waste of time. Or this person could be like saying, your offer is a waste of time. 
So why is there, okay, their wall is up. Looks like they might be going through something spiritually. They might be going through some changes. Oh, but they're feeling like their wall is up because they definitely recognize that you were stringing them along and that you stepped out on this relationship. And maybe they feel like you're not willing to take accountability for that. They no longer want to fight. They no longer want this petty exchange. And because they feel like that's an absolute shallow victory. So it looks like your person really isn't moving. They may not want this separation, but they feel like they have no other alternative but to detach from somebody that took advantage of them in some way. Somebody that maybe looked at them as a come up, like this person could have, that you could have been it off, benefited off of them in some way. And in and, and other, another way, in other words, your person feels used. So they were feeling like rather than continue to be a doormat, I'm going to detach and I'm going to cut you off in this situation. Okay, maybe there was some type of communication because I'm seeing somebody opening a letter. So if you did communicate with them or for some of them, like the thought of communicating kind of comes across, but they don't know what to say to you to make things better. Yeah, there was definitely some cheating here. They do think about rebuilding the situation with you, but they don't feel like it's going to last. They feel like it's only a period of time before this falls off and, and, and crumbles because they're kind of feeling like when things get tough that you're not going to stick around and they don't want to be stuck in a situation because I'm just feeling like somebody wants to come back to you. They just don't know how, and they don't know what to say. And one of you has really been struggling, going through some emotional, financial struggle. Yeah, it's like, especially if there's a fire sign, this person is still in love with you. For some of you, you do have a kid together. They still want you. But the point is somebody doesn't feel like you're going to accept their offer because somebody likes to be a shot caller. Like somebody likes to um, wear the pants in this relationship. Somebody likes a lot of attention. Some of you could be dealing with somebody in the limelight. But either way, somebody really likes the attention of, of women. A lot of, they like eyes on them. And that might be an issue for you. This person still loves you. They might be a ladies' man. They might be a womanizer. They might be a whatever the scenario, an opportunist in some way. The, the bottom line is that they're not really extending an offer. They have cut you off and they're going to bury themselves in their work not to think about this. They're kind of waiting for you to make the first move, Libra or cross watcher. However, this resonates. They feel like the responsibility is on you to do so. So let's take a look um, at the possible outcome to this and again like i'm trying to say gemini i'm hearing gemini am i reading i'm leaving for, for libra some of you could be dealing with a gemini or you have just a lot of air in your chart as soon as i part the deck reconciliation stay optimistic about your love life somebody is staying optimistic that you guys may reconcile the other one is letting go Let's see. One of you wants to reconcile. What does the other one want overall? You want to sleep with you. Okay, You guys are definitely in separate. Here it is again. Reconciliation past life is safe for you to love. Yeah, you guys both may want the same thing, but you're not really saying it. I see a reconciliation. I feel like it definitely crosses both of your minds. But logically, somebody is saying, I cut you off. I let you go. You hurt me. You took me for granted. What sense would it be? Would it make for me to let you back into my life? I separated from you because I needed to put myself first. And in this relationship, I put you first and they feel like you trampled their heart. The potential for this to play out looks like it may happen over time. But somebody needs to make the first move. For some of you, divine timing brings this situation back around where you guys may reconcile and enjoy one another's company. Once again, things may be good between the two of you again, and you guys might get out of this very complicated place. 
definitely looks like there's definitely a bond here that could have originated from a past life. This person is still very passionate about you, but at the same time, they're very skeptical of your level of commitment. They feel like they have to look over their shoulder when it comes to you. Overall, though, if, like, so if you guys, uh, if this has something to do with a parent-child relationship, I see forgiving and learning. And some of you may definitely be reconciling with your adult children, or they don't even have to be adult children, with the friends even. So I'm feeling like, yep, divine timing may play a big factor here where somebody, maybe when you least expect it, may come in to express how much they really do love. And you guys may potentially have a chance to restore some type of trust that was broken. But remember, this is a general reading, so it's not the outcome may not be the same for everyone. But this is what I see for you. Okay, let me pull the advice. The advice for the Libra. Sun, moon, rising, and Venus. Dreams come true is what I'm saying here. Could be a dream come true for some of you to have this person come back. Mm, take your time making this decision. So I'm feeling like somebody is going to take their time. They need some time to figure out what they want to do. Your home is protected by angels. So, yeah, Archangel Michael is definitely doing a good job. Got my Archangel Michael candle going back there. Yeah. Archangel Michael is definitely doing a good job at protecting your home. Go forward fearlessly. For some of you, it's going to take for you to make the first move. You and your loved ones are safe. Okay. And where are we? Romance angels are helping you. This has a lot to do with divine timing. For those of you who are genuinely like, really supposed to be together in this lifetime, it looks like you guys are going to find a way to um, a way back to one another and there may be a breakthrough in your situation. But this is what I have for you, Libras. If you would like to book a personal re and Libras and cross watchers, I should say, if you would like to book a personal reading with me, Libra or cross watcher, you can do so by heading over to my website, which is angelicascensionstarot.com. It's been good, guys. I hope that this reading was helpful. If you found that it was, leave me a thumbs up. Consider subscribing if you already haven't. Leave a comment below. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace. Bye for now.